we want to find the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S, which will give us the function little f of t. And because the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S equals F of t, our first step is to take the inverse Laplace transform of both sides of this equation. So we'd have the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S equals the inverse Laplace transform of seven divided by the quantity S plus three minus the inverse Laplace transform of three divided by the quantity five S minus two and then finally plus the inverse Laplace transform of nine divided by S to the fourth. So looking at the table of Laplace transforms, notice how we're given big F of S and we're trying to determine little f of t, which means we'll be using this table in this direction here. So looking at the column for big F of S, let's see which formulas apply in order to determine these inverse Laplace transforms. So focusing on the denominators, notice how here we have the quantity S plus three. Notice how it appears to fit this form here, except here we have S minus A, where A is a constant, and here we have S plus three. Remember, we can write an addition problem as a subtraction problem, where S plus three is equal to S minus negative three. So we'll be using this row to determine the first inverse Laplace transform. Looking at this inverse Laplace transform, notice how the denominator is five S minus two, and even though our denominator here is S minus A, we could factor out five to write the denominator in the form of S minus A. So we'll use this formula again to determine this Laplace transform. And then finally here we have denominator of S to the fourth. So we'll be using this row to determine the last inverse Laplace transform where the denominator is in the form of S raised to the power of N plus one. So now let's work on making these inverse Laplace transforms fit the correct form on the next slide. Looking at the left side, the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S is equal to little f of t, which is what we're looking for. So we have little f of t equals, for this inverse Laplace transform, let's go ahead and factor out the seven and write this as seven times the inverse Laplace transform of, the numerator would now be one, and because we want the denominator to be in the form of S minus A, Let's write S plus three as S minus negative three. For the next inverse Laplace transform, let's factor out three and write this as minus three times the inverse Laplace transform of, the numerator is one, and for a denominator, because we want this to be in the form of S minus A, let's factor out five and write this as five times the quantity S minus two fifths. Notice how if we distribute, we still have five S minus two and the next step will factor out one fifth. For our last inverse Laplace transform, let's factor out nine and write this as nine times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by, let's write S to the fourth as S raised to the power of three plus one. Continuing, we have F of T equals, notice how this is exactly the form we want where the numerator is one and A would be negative three, so we'll leave this alone for right now. Here we don't want this five in the denominator. So let's go ahead and factor out one fifth, which would give us minus three fifths times the inverse Laplace transform of, the numerator would be one, and the denominator would be S minus two fifths. Notice how now this fits the form perfectly, or A equals positive two fifths. Now for this last inverse Laplace transform, notice how our denominator looks good, where N equals three, but our numerator must be three factorial, and right now it's one. So let's change this one and write one as three factorial divided by three factorial. This would still be equal to one, and because we want the denominator to be three factorial, we'll factor out one over three factorial and write this as nine divided by three factorial times the inverse Laplace transform of, now the numerator would be three factorial, and the denominator is S raised to the power of three plus one. Now all these inverse Laplace transforms are the exact form that we need in order to apply our formula, which means F of T is equal to seven times this inverse Laplace transform, where A is equal to negative three, would be E raised to the power of negative three T, 
So the first term of f of t is seven e raised to the power of negative three t, and then we'd have minus three fifths. For this inverse Laplace transform, a would be equal to positive two fifths. So the second term of f of t would be negative three fifths times e raised to the power of two fifths t. And then for the last term, we have plus, let's simplify nine divided by three factorial. Nine divided by three factorial equals nine divided by three times two times one, which is nine six, which equals three halves. So we have plus three halves times Applying this formula where n equals three, the inverse Laplace transform would just be t to the third. So the third term of f of t is three halves t to the third. So going back to our first slide, we now know f of t equals seven e raised to the power of negative three t minus three fifths times e raised to the power of two fifths t plus three halves t to the third. I hope you found this helpful.